Hello, this is Timekiller89 here, and I'll show you how to um, unscrew up the sound in Windows XP guests in, in Windows 8, 8.1, or 10 hosts in VMware. <laughs> what I've noticed is that um, the sound, this goes to the sound options in Control Panel at the moment, which I haven't installed it yet. Yeah, sounds alright, doesn't it? The Creative Sound Blaster PCI. Uh, let's go for the critical stop. Yeah, that's all crackly and if you didn't hear that, it just sounds bad, very bad. However, there's one thing you can do, and that is to run this software called VM Audio Fix Tray, which basically emulates Windows Media Player running in the background, which seems to fix the problem. And that's one of the only ways to do it. Yeah, so, um, open up your internet browser. Yes, IE6, I don't mind or care. Type in VM Audio Fix Tray. Little, little chip should be the first result. Yeah, I don't really care. And you should get this simple looking web page come up. Now you need Windows Microsoft.net 3.5 on the guest OS. Um, yeah. So you want to start version 1. Point, no, I don't want 1. Point, I want 1.1. 1. 1. Open it. Extract all files. Uh, let's just let's just stick it on the desktop for now. Now what you want to do is cut it and then go to all programs, uh, open all users, programs, start up and paste it. So that means it will run on every boat. Now let's actually run the software now. Yes, we don't really care. Now look, as you can see, it's put that in the in there. Now let's go to the control panel again. Sounds a bit cleaner. Let's go to the critical stop. Done. And let's go to the new mail notification again. Unfortunately, the start up and shutdown sounds will still be screwed up, but that's the only downside to this. Otherwise, it will work absolutely perfectly, and it only takes 12 megabytes of RAM if I, of memory, if I'm correct, as it says on the official web page. Um, hope you enjoyed the video, and hope it helps you. Goodbye, and I'll see you again soon.